I'm about to share with you pieces of money advice that every single adult needs to hear, whether you're a young adult, like between 18 and 25, or you're one of the more experienced adultier adults, as they call them nowadays, or if you're middle-aged or on the older side, this video is 100% for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's all about personal finance and personal growth. And if you don't know me, I'm Reggie Bryant. I'm the author of The Wealth Journey. We're gonna jump straight into this topic right now. So the thing about being an adult is pretty much every decision you make in life is a financial decision and it's gonna impact your future. And as adults, it's very easy to get into the mindset that we had when we were kids, you know, where peer pressure is a thing where, where you're easily influenced by others when you wanna fit in, you wanna be cool, you wanna look a certain way, you might wanna look successful, maybe portray an image that you don't yet have and you might put a certain amount of pressure on yourself to meet a certain set of expectations that other people may have for you, whether they're friends, family, your parents, your coworkers, or even your significant other. So the first piece of advice that I wanna give you is stop caring about what people think. It's very easy to allow what other people think to take full control of your life, and I know that from direct experience, and it's very hard to get out of that mindset, but I'm here to tell you why it's detrimental to your finances if you continue to care so much about what people think. Like I just said, personal finances are very much related to every single thing that you do in life. So if you're someone who listens to people who say things like, well, if you didn't go to school, if you didn't get a degree, if you didn't go to college, you're not gonna be successful. Oh, you're still driving that car? I thought by now you'd have a little bit more money to afford something a little better. Why are you still driving that Honda Civic? Come on, I know you can afford something better than that. Why are you still wearing that old thing? Why are you still living in that same old apartment? It's time to upgrade. I thought you said you got a promotion at work. You get the picture, right? And people are very vocal about what they think when it comes to you and your life and your personal finance situation, right? But they don't have to live with the consequences that come with making decisions behind what they think about your current situation. So if you're that unhappy with someone else's thoughts of your personal situation to the point where you take action to do the things to impress them and not improve your life, you are making a mistake. And I'm not perfect myself. I've done this before. I've definitely been guilty of this. I always like to have pride in any and everything that I do. And when somebody tells me that I can't do something, I've always liked to prove that I can, in fact, do exactly what you're saying I can't do. And I can do more than that because I like to do overkill. That's just me, though. Don't be like me. But even I have grown from that because it doesn't hurt anybody but me. You have to be willing to care more about your future than what other people think. And that goes for everything in life. Who you decide to be in a relationship with, who you decide to marry, who you decide to bank with, which job you decide to work at, what industry, how much money you want to make, what your personal goals are, if you want to buy a house, if you want to buy a certain type of car. These things have to be done all without what other people think. And here's the kicker. You're a person too. So sometimes you have to be able to box yourself out and be like, I don't even care what I think. I might really, really, really want this Mercedes AMG. I might really want this Audi A6. I might really want that Gucci bag or the Gucci sweater, Prada shoes, whatever the case is. But right now, my future is more important. And I don't care if I walk around with that stuff and people think I'm the greatest person in the world and I'm, I'm making money. Because the truth is, the only thing that having those things proves is that you spent money but it does not mean that you have money. And I'd rather be the person in a situation that has a bunch of money in my bank account, but isn't externally showing every little thing to everyone. I wanna be that person that's low key about wealth. You don't gotta know what I got. I'm not gonna be walking around looking like no bum, but I'm also not gonna be flashing everything I have around because that my friend is how you get robbed. Which leads me to the next topic. Have your priorities straight at all times. As an adult, I don't care if you're 18 or if you're 55. Have your priorities straight at all times. We're all human beings and we have emotions, but we're also adults with responsibilities. And I'm here to tell you, sometimes at work, you're going to get aggravated, annoyed. You might even want to fight somebody sometimes, but you cannot let those emotions override reason because the moment that happens, 
you lose your job and then you don't got no money coming in. And what's the whole point of having a job is to sustain your lifestyle and provide for yourself as an adult so you don't have to rely on anybody else. But when you become unstable in that way, emotionally unstable, I should say, that is when you become financially unstable. And here's another thing about priorities. The money you make at work is not always going to be guaranteed. So you got to be smart with your money now and not wait until you're in a disaster or a disaster is coming to start being smart about your finances. You want to be smart about your finances from day one. And maybe a lot of us aren't taught this as children, but whether you were taught from birth or you didn't learn until you were already an adult, the truth is still the truth. And you've got to be responsible and have your financial priorities in order. So if you know that you don't have that much money in your savings account, if you know that you have debt to pay off, if you know that you're not where you want to be financially, you have to put yourself in a position to get there. You have to put yourself in a position to save more money every month, whether that means to work overtime, to get paid more every week, whether that means to cut back on certain expenses or avoid expensive habits that you've been doing from the start because you're making good money. Whether you're a young adult not making that much money or an older adult making good money or vice versa, whatever the case is, you've got to prioritize where your money goes and understand where your money should go. And if you're not in a place where you would feel financially secure, and if you feel like if you lost one paycheck, you would be screwed, that is a telltale sign that you need to prioritize what's going on in your bank account. And you never really know anyone's financial situation. People can walk around looking like they're making it and they're really dying on the inside, or, or somebody can look really broke, but they can really be balling out of control in their bank account. You really never know. So I'm not necessarily here to tell you that it's easy to do this part or that it's easy to prioritize everything because you might be one of those few people who are prioritizing everything, but maybe just not enough income is coming into your bank account to fully support your responsibilities in life, whether you have children, whether you have an expensive rent that just went way, way up and you didn't expect that to happen. You might have fallen on some sort of hard times. You might have expensive medical bills to fall back on. I understand that. But there's always a way back up and you can't give up and you have to keep trying. And as for the people who do have the money and who are actually in a position to better themselves financially and they're making a good, good amount of money, but maybe they're not really using it to the full potential that it could be used. That is who I'm talking to. You've got to prioritize because it doesn't matter if you're making $20,000 a year or $120,000 a year. You can go broke in your bank account. And your lifestyle is a direct reflection of your decisions. So you've got to be careful to make the right decision as an adult. Because everything that happens in your life, good or bad, is your fault. And when I first heard that concept, I was like, man, what kind of mess is this? What do you mean it's my fault? I got offended about it. But when you really think about it, it is. No one told you to choose the company to work at that you decided to work at. No one told you to do that. So if you get mistreated... If you get misguided, if you get a bad review, if you get screwed over, if you lose your job, whose fault is that? If you choose to live in an expensive neighborhood and you can't pay your rent, whose fault is that? If you're not where you want to be financially, whose fault is that? You have to look at everything like it's your fault. And I'm not meaning that in a negative way. I'm not meaning like, oh, yeah, well, I'm not worth anything. I'm the scum of the earth because I made these bad decisions. So now I have to live with them and it's my fault. No, no, no. It's saying it's my fault. So this is what I'm going to do about it because the only one who can do something about it is me. And that should empower you to do the right things financially. You can't control everything in life, but you can definitely control your attitude toward what happens to you in life. And you can make and start building the stepping blocks to get to the next level that you know you deserve to get to. But it's going to take work and you're going to have to earn it. When I worked my first job that I absolutely hated, I had to understand it's my fault I'm in this situation. I took on this high level big boy job, you know what I'm saying, straight out of college without knowing anything, expecting that I get mentorship. And when I didn't get mentorship, ooh, well, what was me? No, 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 no. Don't, don't even crouch in that corner. Get back up. Come on over here. What are we going to do about it? How are we going to map out our success from here on out? Because obviously these folks ain't going to do it. So what are you going to do? What are you going to read? What are you going to learn from 
so you can pick yourself up and get to the next level in your career. Because I know you want to move up. Right now, you're on the brink of getting fired. So let's let's not get fired, okay? Let's get a good reputation going, and then let's move up. But maybe not move up at this company because this company sucks. Let's go to a better company and go from there. But you won't be starting from scratch like you did this time. You'll be starting with a couple years of experience. And that's exactly what I did. So even though... It wasn't my fault that I was getting mistreated. It was my fault that I was in the place where I got mistreated. So I had to do something about it. And I think one of the biggest things that I've ever learned in my adult life that is a piece of advice that I'd like to give you is that you have to find a way to make your money make you money. Does that make sense? Like you spend a lot of time anyway working actively for income. There's nothing wrong with that and there's nothing wrong with having a job. I know there's a lot of entrepreneurial influencers out here giving the narrative that it's crazy that you should work a job, that you're putting in this amount of hours for just this amount of money for pennies on the dollar. Look, don't listen to that crap. Half of the entrepreneurs in the world make like 28,000 max per year. Now, some can make a lot more than that, but that takes time and a lot, a lot of effort, right? But most people who have jobs do make more than entrepreneurs. That's all I'm telling you in this video. But I say that because if you find a way to supplement your income by making your money make money, so, so the money that you're working so hard for right now, if you can find a way to encapsulate some of that and put it into something that gives you returns, that ends up multiplying your money over the years, it's called getting rich slow, i.e. investing, that's an excellent way to build your wealth. You do it already probably if you have a corporate job or a full-time job at all, you probably have a 401k, a Roth IRA, or some form of an account, a 403b, something in which your company automatically invests a portion of your paycheck where it keeps building and it just does it every single month. You don't even miss that money because it's going towards your 401k. And because you're not missing it, it's just going and going and going. And then it goes up by a few percentages. It goes by 2%, 10%. And then the next thing you know, it's grown into six figures or even seven figures. So it's the same concept, but you want to find a way to do that for yourself, whether in a separate investing account. And I know I keep telling y'all got an investing video coming on the way. It's coming on the way. Trust me. And if you want more in-depth investing videos, check out my Patreon because I will be making the more in-depth course-like material for the folks over in my Patreon account. But it's extremely important. And that's not the only way you can do it because not everyone is interested in, in investing and not everyone feels like it's something that's up their alley. There's a ton of ways to make your money make money. But if you start with not caring about what people think and you start with having your priorities straight in the first place, your debt's gonna be paid off, your savings are gonna be looking good, you'll be able to execute step three without any problems, and that's making sure your money is making money. And all three of these can be done at the same time, but if I had to prioritize them, this is the order I would put them in so you make sure you don't go broke. But I wish I would've learned the third one a lot sooner because I spent most of my early 20s throwing money, I mean hundreds, thousands of dollars, right, at dreams and hopes and wishes that I had, but I wasn't putting in any work. The only way you can make your money make money without putting in any work is investing. But even then you have to put in the research to understand the companies you're putting your money into. But yeah, sure did MLM and I'm not too proud to say it, but I spent thousands of dollars on an MLM and I got absolutely nothing back in return. But that's just a lesson that I had to learn. But there's ways that you can make your money make money. You just need to do the proper research if you're gonna go that route. And another example of the way that my money makes money is if I invest money into my YouTube account, like let's say I invest into a video editor or I invest into a new camera that makes the videos look better or you know these lights behind me, I invested in those. I invested in a lot of things in my channel that have in turn increased watchability, which has made people watch my channel longer, binge watch my videos. And as a result, my channel has grown and it has paid me more every month. Those are ways that my money has made me money. And my YouTube channel has paid me 10x more than 10x of the money that I actually invested within the channel. So that's all I wanted to say about that. So just remember, we're all adults. We all have responsibilities. We need to keep our priorities in check and we need to make sure that we're being adult about the things that we do. Like people and what they think, that was old in elementary, middle, high school, right? Like 
what other people think, what's cool and what's in and what's not, we, we're beyond that right now. We're adults. We have responsibilities. We have big things that we're up to. Some of us have children to raise. Some of us have educations that we're, you know, pursuing. And we have bills, for God's sake. You ain't paying none of my bills, so what makes you think that your thoughts are going to have any impact on what I do with my money? Exactly. Anyway. I could keep going all day, but that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.